This week we've been working outside, filling holes that we don't want and digging holes that we do want. We've also received an extraordinary gift and I can't wait to show you what it is. And a very exciting delivery arrived this week for our four-legged friends here at the pub. And I'm also going to announce something very special at the end of today's video. So make sure you watch to the end to find out what that is. And don't forget, if you're enjoying our videos, make sure you hit subscribe on our YouTube channel, The Lady Smith Manor Diaries, to see all our videos when we first put them out. But first, let me show you what we've been up to this week. As you know, we love dogs here at the Manor and with the pub called The Thirsty Whippet, how could we have a pub without being dog friendly? And although we're not allowed dogs inside um, under the health inspector's rules, our terrace at the Thirsty Whippet pub will be dog friendly. And uh, so I couldn't think of anything more perfect than serving dog beer on our terrace. And whenever I tell people that, they always look at me a little bit, well, some people have heard of it, some people think I'm crazy. And look what just arrived today. We put in our next order for our dog beer and it just arrived. And uh, if you've never heard of it, this is brewed by the Crafty Beast Brewing Company. They're actually in Fredericton, which is local, which makes me very, very happy. And uh, you can see in here, they have two different beers. They have the Unleashed, which has got a Greyhound on it, which is awesome. And then in here, we have Fetch. Now, um, both of these are obviously non-alcoholic. We do not serve alcohol to dogs here. Um, they are a broth-based product. Um, the fetch has got uh, beef and pork and carrots, um, some apples in it. Uh, the Unleashed has got beef and uh, blueberries in it as well. And uh, all the uh, products and the ingredients are sourced from Maritime Farmers. They use all the odd shaped apples and uh, really good for digestion and the gut health of the dog. Um, lots of minerals and um, like I say, really healthy and good for your pup. But we just love the idea of being able to uh, serve dog beer in dog bowls for your dog. So you can come to the uh, Thirsty Whippet pub and enjoy a beer on the terrace with your pub. And uh, they actually have just brought out a third flavor, which is I think is pumpkin based. Um, I haven't got that one yet, so we're gonna have to get that one in, but we've just received our order. Like I say, we're gonna be serving these in dog bowls uh, at the pub, but I also am gonna be putting together some nice little gift bags uh, which will include a dog beer and a dog treat, which we're, I'm just bringing in, and one of our Thirsty Whippet stickers. Now, if you came to our Christmas market, you'll remember we sold them there. They were probably one of our biggest sellers at Christmas. So we're gonna be doing that again. And then I also am working on a concept where uh, we're gonna have a flight board for dogs. So you know when you go to the to a brewery or a pub and you can do your flight of you know beer or whiskey and you can try the different ones. I'm thinking that maybe we do something with a beer and some treats so your pup can have a flight at the pub as well. So stay tuned because I'm uh, working on those that concept. But our terrace will be opening soon and we're really excited because you know what? Our dogs love this. This week we've continued work outside getting our terrace prepared and the weather hasn't quite been good enough yet to open it, thank goodness, because we're not quite ready. But we have been working on getting our fence in because obviously uh, we're gonna be fencing this space in uh, to make the terrace. And so the first job was to get some holes dug which was easier said than done because not only are we on rock, but the ground was still pretty hard. But Stephen's done a pretty good job so far. He's, uh, we've got three holes dug. We've got a couple more on the way. So we'll be finishing those this week. But more importantly, we had to, we had to fill some other holes that had appeared. Uh, these ones were hard to dig, but the holes that appeared on the driveway, the potholes, oh my goodness, they were huge. So this week we got some gravel delivered 
we got the potholes all filled. So now your car will not disappear down a hole when it come, when you come and visit us at the pub. Um, so that's all been fixed. And we also had the gravel delivered, ready for work to start on our outside kitchen. Because as you probably know, we are gonna be adding a wood-fired pizza oven outside. We're gonna have some uh, beer on tap for the summer. And uh, we're gonna be building obviously a cover for that space. And uh, so we needed some gravel to put down just to level the uh, ground ready for that work so that arrived this week as well so uh, over the next week or two we can actually get the, the terrace going uh, so that as soon as the sun sh uh, shine comes out and the weather's nice enough we can open up and you can come and enjoy a drink on the terrace and for anyone of you who is thinking those posts don't look very even these are just temporary to make sure that no one falls in the holes uh, so once they are built we will be putting in uh, full-size posts and uh, actually these three here are going to be part of our 24 foot pergola which are going to which is going to be built against this fence so those ones are going to be much taller but don't worry our fence is not going to look this uneven we are always so grateful when people donate things or give us gifts here at the manor. And this week, Michelle came to the Thirsty Whippet pub and she gave us something extra special. She had made this amazing whippet from paper mache. And it is just so, it's extraordinary how she's done it. It's just so, so cute. You can see, I mean, it, even all the mannerisms, the legs look so good. I mean, it, she's just nailed it. And uh, you can see on his body, she's used cut out words that reflect the pub. So you can see there's beer, uh, there's cocktails in here, um, wedding, thing, words that relate to the manor and the Thirsty Whippet pub. And we just love it. It is just one of my favorite pieces, and I've got lots of favorites, I know, but this one's gonna get um, a very special place here in the pub. And we wanna say a huge thank you to Michelle for making this for us. It was just such a wonderful surprise when she brought it in, and I just love it. And I just love reading all the little uh, words, but it's just extraordinary, the detail. So, um, yeah, she's even like painted the top, so it's got some coloring. And she has now told me that she's gonna make a little collar and she's gonna find the word Hendrix and make the collar out of a tiny Hendrix word, which is just so, so sweet. So uh, like I say, thank you so much, Michelle. I'm gonna find a very special place for this little guy and uh, he will be in the pub. So next time you come and visit us, you'll have to keep an eye open to see where I put him so you can see if you can find our paper mache whippet um, that we'll have to name, I guess, I guess he's, uh, is he Hendrix Jr.? I don't know, what do you think? What should we name our Whippet that is uh, now our new little uh, member of our Thirsty Whippet family? If you're anything like me, you love to be able to gift an experience that you've really enjoyed. And there's so many more people these days looking for experiences rather than things. And I often get asked, do you have gift cards that I can buy to gift someone, maybe tickets to the afternoon tea or an opportunity to come to the pub or even one of our shirts or some of our coffee? And uh, the answer now is yes, we do. We have gift cards and we have now got two. We've got one, uh, which is the Thirsty Whippet, and one that is Ladysmith Manor, but they both can be used for either. They're interchangeable. So you can purchase whichever design you like. You can gift those to someone. And uh, it's very simple. All we do is we take your email and uh, the, there will be an email going to the person that you've gifted it to and uh, it will give them the gift card and the, co the coupon code to redeem it. And they can be redeemed in person here at the Thirsty Whippet pub, if you wanna come and buy something in our boutique here or uh, enjoy a drink or something at the pub, or you can use them online to buy event tickets or um, items that are in our boutique online as well. So they're very, very flexible. And like I say, we've done two designs because we thought it would be uh, fun to have both designs, perhaps depending on who you're giving it to and what you're giving, whether it's maybe an afternoon tea at the, the manor or you're giving um, them an experience at the pub. So we've done the two designs, but they are exactly the same. You can use both designs, uh, both gift cards to, uh, redeem for any of our products that you'll find online and in person. So these are going to be going live online on our website 
Um, and uh, so if you had know someone who would like to come and enjoy maybe uh, a ticket to maybe to the Music at the Manor or one of our events or afternoon tea, that you'd like to give them a gift card so they can come and enjoy something at Thirsty Whippet, uh, or like I say, buy some of our merchandise, you can now do that. So all the links are on our websites, both the Thirsty Whippet and the Ladies of the Manor website, and you can go and you can just pay um, online with a credit card, whatever, just the normal ways you can pay, or you can pay in person here at the pub. So I wanted to share that with you because it's been something we've been working on for a while. We often get asked, and so now these are available for everyone to enjoy, and uh, we just really appreciate you sharing uh, your experience here at the Manor and at the First Whippet Pub with others because we know we hear so much great feedback about how much everyone enjoys their time here. We just want to share it with as many people as possible so we really appreciate you uh, sharing it with the people that you know and love and like I say I just always whenever I find an experience I love I just want to share it with everyone as well. So uh, I am gonna enjoy my coffee. Uh, it's uh, Hendrix has now uh, joined me on the chair here. He's fast asleep uh, but I am going to get back to work. We've got lots happening this week. Um, I've got more news to give you next next week about uh, different events. If you've not got your Music at the Manor event tickets yet, we still have some available. Our music at the Manor is going to be on the 4th of May. It's our Mother's Day Music at the Manor. Very, They've always been a huge success. We're having live classical music here at the Manor. We're doing a uh, wonderful charcuterie table with lots of food. You get a cocktail included. Um, it's going to be a really, really lovely evening. So if you haven't got your tickets yet, uh, I will put the link below so you can head over and get them before they sell out. We do still have some available. Um, and uh, like I say, there'll be more news coming next week on future events and lots more things that will be happening here, both at the Manor and at the First Olympic Pub. So I will see you back here next week for our next episode of the Ladies Manor Diaries.